Hi, welcome. We're here, I'm, I'm here with three of the Passing the Torch mentoring program teachers with Susan and Emily and Yugi. And we're examining, we're really inquiring into a distinction that we study in the body of work that we call the Three Core Connections, which is a biointelligent way of looking at human movement patterning. We're really looking at how the body works and functions rather than exercises. So you're going to be seeing there are three people who look like they're doing three distinct movements. But actually what we're examining is how the hamstring, the back of the leg, this is something I've taught for quite a while in the Pilates community, how the hamstring functions both as a flexor and a grounder for the body, but also as a tonic lift. It's part of the intrinsic spine that gives us a relationship, a deeper relationship to the dorsal body down the back and the ventral body up the front. How the body works back to front. So let's take a look for a moment. First of all, we'll take a look at what Yuki is doing. Great. So notice that what Yuki is doing is standing on the foam roller. We're pretty familiar with that. What's unusual about what he's doing is his awareness is on opening his hands into the wall, opening his feet into the foam roller as he softens his knees. So he's not bending his knees, he's softening just enough. It's like he's beginning to go into a squat, but as he does that, his feet are opening. This is a huge awareness. Opening the feet, opening the hands, softens the eyes. Peripheral vision happens peripherally, the body's borders, awareness-wise. And this makes an enormous difference in opening up your back. When your feet open, your back opens. So I'm just going to keep talking about how what Yuki is doing is relating to what Emily and Susan are doing. So you really see that. So let's now go to Emily. Wonderful. So now I'm here with Emily. And why do we use the yoga wall? Not just to do yoga and have it relate to Pilates, but rather, once again, we're teaching a distinction. We're teaching through distinction. How do we pattern? How do we get in touch with how our bodies work naturally? And Emily's using this leg series that we do on the yoga wall to create that sense of back of the leg related through the inner thigh to the front of the pelvic floor to the inner ear. Hamstring as she's softening, she's softening and straightening. So notice she's not bending her knee and popping it back. She's opening up her foot into the wall as she softens into the floor, feet opening, and her hip is moving back as her foot is moving forward. So it's an enlivening of her spine from bending and straightening the leg. This is a huge distinction. And actually we use the natural powerhouse of shoulder blade to deep belly, which is that down the back, up the front, internal support of breath that straightens the leg. So you get a pendulum-like leg. Foot related to spine. Foot related to inner ear. Beautiful. So now let's move to Susan and take a look there. Great. So here we are with Susan. And notice that the position that Susan is in is something we traditionally call the leg circle position. We're doing it with our distinction of the mat work on the wall. So we're using the wall to create more feedback, give a closed chain support for the standing leg. And Susan is relating her left sitting bone toward her right foot, sit bone to heel, which once again creates, instead of the emphasis and the bending and straightening being on the knee, she is 
keeping her hip heavy as she softens her knee. Notice her knee's not popping in. There's a relational balance between foot, hamstring, inner thigh, front of the pelvic floor to the spine. So as she's straightening her leg, it's actually an internal support that is being enervated as her leg straightens. Hamstring related to grounding through the foot and grounding and lifting through the front of the spine. Down the back, through the tripod, from the shoulder blades, from the back of the arm, to the foot, up the front, inner ankle, inner thigh works with the back of the leg, to the front of the spine, to the inner ear. And so all three exercises are doing the same thing because we're looking at human movement patterning, how the body works. Beautiful. All right. So please be in touch. We're, this is a conversation that is so rich and so important, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.